Hello, this is just a quick video to let you know that this one, the 1161 uh, buffered multiple is up. I know this month is a bit of a boring month. It's literally a buffered multiple. What is a buffered multiple, you ask? Well, basically, it's like a passive multiple, which is basically like a headphone splitter. So you have a input and you have a multiple loads of outputs but with a passive you could just plug it in anywhere it just it basically splits signal like a passive one so a passive one wouldn't be powered at all and the problem with a passive one it usually isn't a problem and you can get away with passive multiples in a lot of uh, instances this if anybody's interested in i'm not sure whether they are but this is a passive multiple with a passive attenuator on top as you can see it's literally just a panel but if anybody's interested in this let me know and i'll I'll get a run of them, They're, they've got a little transistor on it, transistor dude. But um, the buffered multiple is basically the same as a passive multiple, however, it's got buffers on all of the outputs. This means that whatever goes in uh, is not affected and all of the outputs are isolated and it makes sure that each output isn't, if it's plugged into something that is basically sort of a sort of um pulling from the signal uh even if it's going slightly to ground it will make everything not work but if it's on a buffered multiple that output that they won't affect the rest of them it, and it, it it's useful in certain instances um you can get away with a lot of these things using a passive multiple also another thing is it's um quite useful with VCOs, voltage controlled oscillators, because some of them, if you, you can have as many plugged in as you want and you won't notice any voltage drop in the signal because if you if you start adding like uh, this it gets like you'll notice it about eight of them if you plug in eight uh, vcos voltage per octave in for a passive multiple you'll notice the notes start drifting going down a little bit uh, but with a buffered multiple you don't notice that so in this instance uh, right now i've actually got a buffered multiple kind of um so this MIDI CV, which is actually coming uh, in a f in about two weeks, it's been a little bit of a while coming, but it's basically a four channel or six channel or polyphonic, four voice polyphonic, four voice phonophonic, one voice with loads of different things. There's loads of different CC commands in the middle and pitch bend and stuff like all of that. It's based on the MIDI Muso chip, but that'll be out in two weeks. But um, basically this has got uh, one note, uh, the top MIDI signal, uh, the CV of that, the voltage per octave of that, is actually going into a buffered multiple. And then also, the gate out is going into the buffered multiple. This means that I'm able to split the signal out of this single note and buffer it, and then plug it into uh, free oscillators, or more oscillators. There is actually a module coming out soon as well, which is basically something that is built to to connect to the back of these uh, VCOs with Portamento and a bunch of those things. But that'll be another thing entirely and I'm probably baffling and making it more complicated than it needs to be, but let's have a closer look at it. Uh, basically, to start first off, if you could see, it's a very simple design. There's like, there's, well, I dropped it. <laughs> there's two quad op amps and one dual op amp. The dual op amp is actually for the signal diodes, which in this one are actually bipolar. So they show you whether the signal is negative or positive. Uh, that means if, if it's negative, it goes green. If it's positive, it goes red. And then it doesn't, this LED, because sometimes if you plug in LEDs to voltage, you, 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 you kind of see a voltage drop, but this doesn't happen, it's completely isolated. So in this one right here, you may not see it, it's actually, it's actually this one right here, there's too many wires. But there's an LED right here. Uh, this was um, this was a prototype one, and this is actually just a normal LED, so that only shows the positive voltage. So if you listen to this with this LED, you'll see it get brighter as the note gets higher, i.e. the voltage gets higher. Which is a good signal, it's just good to know. You can see on the top, this one is flashing, this is the buffered multiple, that's actually just the gate out there, so. However, like I said, so if I plug this into something that would drift between positive and negative, uh, this is a bicolor LED, so it shows you the signal in um, bicolor because this is a green and red LED for bicolor. So if I plug this in and I get it going into an LFO, for instance, you'll see that it will bounce between 
because it's going up and down between the zeros. So and there it goes, goes in the middle when it's uh, sort of yellow, but it's not really. So yeah, it's, uh, it is what it is, it's nothing super fancy, but that is a utility this month. And yeah, like I said, next one is the MIDI to CV and the Mega Drone module, you'll be pleased to know, will be out around the same time. Anyway, uh, anyway, if you haven't checked the live remix from yesterday, there's a link below, I did a Foles remix using this exact setup right here. So if you're interested in a walkthrough of what's going on specifically with this, then it uh, will be there. And also, if you want, if you're interested, if you're interested in this, like this pad setup, then let me know because uh, I can make that a module as well. I don't know. I need to start working on the uh, triple oscillator project. Anyway, anyway, peace.